Hi, my name is Robert from Amazon Associates. Welcome to the second part of how to set up a website using WordPress. After watching this video, you will know how to choose and install a WordPress theme, how a website is structured and what you need to check before it goes live. Enjoy! Choosing an installation of a WordPress theme. The WordPress theme comes in a template format. It will provide the basic styling for your website. It looks after things like the colors, fonts, page and post layouts. In simple terms, it changes the aesthetic look of your website. There are thousands of themes available for WordPress, so you will be able to find one that suits the topic that you are writing about. To have a good looking quality website, you need to pick a good theme to help both your visitors and the search engines. So look for a nice design and if it is SEO optimized for improved visibility in search engines like Google. A responsive design is important because people use different devices with different sizes of screens as computers, tablets and smartphones. Responsiveness automatically makes viewing your website friendly for visitors irrespective of what device they are using. A fast loading design is also important, because people tend not wait for a website to load. The search engines also prefer websites that load quick. The design has also to be in the right style. Think of what colors are the best suited for your topic and don't use too much of different ones. If you want to build up a gardening website, then a couple of shades of green are ideal but not 40. You can choose and install one of a thousand free themes from the WordPress dashboard. This is the quickest and easiest method to use. Log in to your WordPress dashboard and then click on Appearance, Themes on the left hand column. There you can click on Add New Theme. If you decided to buy a theme which you found in the internet, then you should have received a download. You install the download by going to the left hand column and click on Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload Theme and then choose File. Now add your file you received from the vendor from the location where you stored it. Once it has uploaded, Simply activate it to have your new theme live on the website. The word active will appear under the theme that it's currently being used. Why to use plugins and how to install them. Plugins are available in WordPress and they allow you to be able to add particular features that you may want to have. Like the themes, there are thousands of them. If you can think of a feature you might like on your website, then chances are high that there will be at least one plugin for it. However, and some people forget this, the more you install, the slower your website can become. Also plugins get outdated and can bear security risks. So install only those that you need. Here are often used plugins and a short explanation of them. Contact Form 7. Contact Form 7 is a plugin that allows you to set up a nice looking contact page easily. Revision Control. With the Revision Control plugin, you can reduce the number of revisions of posts and articles, which speeds up your website. WPDB Manager. This plugin allows you to back up your website in case of problems. Yoast SEO. The Yoast SEO plugin is a great choice for doing on-page SEO optimization simple and fast. To install a plugin on your website, go to the left hand column and then click Plugins, Add New. On the top right you will find a search box and all you have to do is type in the name of the plugin and hit return. The plugins then appear down below in boxes. Then click Install Now and then activate plugin. Now the plugin is active. For some plugins you might need to edit their settings before using them. Usually you do find help and how to use content for the plugin within the settings section for the plugin. Understanding website structure. As you learned, the main look and feel of your website is achieved by picking a theme. A theme does not just set the design. When you pick and install a theme, 
you are also adding a basic structure to your website. Most websites can be separated in different sections. The header area. This is the very top part of your website. Typically, you will find a logo there that should represent your brand. Many website owners like to have a graphic that shows people what their website is about. They then add text to this graphic to explain the main purpose of the website. Sidebars. A sidebar is placed at the side of your website to better structure the content on your website. You can set it up different for every single page or similar for the entire website. Content area. This is the most important area as it is where your content goes. Here you see texts, images and videos of the website. Menus. The theme you pick will determine the number of menus that you can create. All of them will have at least one main or primary menu, which mostly sits along the top, usually just below the header. This is where you put links to your main pages in a menu style. Thanks for watching! In the next video, you will learn how to set up a content plan and how to add pages and posts to your website. Bye!